Hey guys, my name is Jack from the Kiri Engine team. So in this video, I will show you the full process of generate the digital replica from a physical world object. Kiri Engine is a cloud-based 3D reconstruction algorithm. It can generate high quality 3D models from taking photos around an object. So this technology can be used in many industries such like filmmaking, game development, and VR, AR content generations. Without further ado, let's go ahead and generate some 3D models from photos. All right, because Kiri Engine doesn't require any special camera devices for the photo taking, so we thought it would be really interesting if we can find a super cheap camera to do the photo taking and then use the app to see what it can do. How cheap? Well, I mean, super, super, super cheap. The kind of cheap that you may not be able to find anywhere in the US, but only available here in China. Take a look at these, guys. Well, <laughs> well this is a camera-shaped plastic thing, and it can actually take photos. It's amazing, isn't it? And it costs about $3 in China. So inside this little piece of toys, there's a two megapixel camera and, and there's nothing else. You can take a look at this image. It's, it's okay. And here's another one. This is a faux plastic dance that costs us about only $5. And as for the lens itself, it's actually made of resin. And to change the aperture, you need to physically swap the piece of plastic on it. Yep, you heard it right. This is a true manual lens that's available on the market. I don't know what we can do with this kind of lens. To change the focal length, you need to actually physically move the camera back and forth. But what's surprising was that the image quality was actually not bad. I, I, thought, I thought it could be super blurry like nothing, but it's surprisingly good. All right, now let's find out what kind of 3D model it can generate using these two photo taking devices. To start with, we need to find a place with even and soft lighting. This is essential. So this way, when we get a 3D model, we can set up any lighting from any condition to the 3D model on the rendering software without looking too fake. Speaking of parameter, we need to find a right shutter speed to make sure we don't have too much blur in the image. And also, remember, we need to find a smaller aperture to make sure we have enough depth. Now, we can start taking photos from different angles and heights around an object. For the photo shooting, make sure there's about 70% overlap between different photos. Just like peeling an apple, you need to work your way around, so this way you won't miss any details on the surface. And of course, the more photos you take and more angles you cover on the object, the better the final result will become. And now, let's go to the Kiri Engine website and upload the photos that we just took and then create 3D model now. And now the cloud will start to process the 3D model and then we'll just have to wait for about five minutes to get a 3D model. Pretty easy, right? Well, as a matter of fact, Kiri Engine is very intelligent. In most cases, you don't even to do any manual editing after getting the 3D model. But in some cases, you will have to use the cropping function that's built in the app and website to clean up the parts that you don't want on the 3D model. But overall, the whole workflow is designed for everyone. You can get your hands on very quickly by using our user interface. So once it's finished, we can just simply download the 3D model from the Kiri Engine website. And inside the folder, there's OBJ, MTL, and JPEG kind of 3D files. And now we can start to work on these 3D scan models on Unity, on Unreal Engine, or on Blender. For example, we can import the 3D model to the Unreal Engine, and we can place it in any kind of 3D scene. We can scale it up, we can scale it down, and we can do whatever we want with the 3D model. And these are the two 3D models that were generated using Kiri Engine and the two junky little devices. You can take a closer look. 
they are actually not bad in terms of texture quality, in terms of mesh, and in terms of geometrical accuracy. And with the 3D model, now we can do anything with it. For example, in the filmmaking industry, combine the 3D scan models with the real-world video clips and apply some artificial lights on it, you will start to get amazing results. And of course, you can also use the 3D scan models in the game development. This will save you tons of time. Up until this point, Kiri Engine is not only a 3D scanning tool. It becomes a way that people can transform the real world into the digital ones. Maybe, just maybe, with this kind of technology, we can start to make a better future with 3D.